Hello again from Bear River. I'm at the quiet waters. There's a lot of debris on the waters and it's been dropped significantly in a short time. If you look across there at the rocks, I noticed, you can see the brown. Some of them, like these little rocks here, the brown is almost up to the top and then there's a little bit of gray and that shows how much the water has dropped. You can see the brown, and that's where the water was less than three weeks ago. It's about two feet. And um, this is the river that isn't protected in ramping. And I asked the, the question yesterday at the Plan for Water meeting, um, when does NID expect to begin ramping that's in their new FERC license? They're going to have to do it. And Jennifer Hansen, the general manager, had mentioned that they would be willing to do it early in the interest of watershed stewardship. But when it came down to Chip Close, the staff, he said, oh, well, we have to see how we can ad gain advantage, how we can take care of ourselves and um, not the river. So this is the real attitude of NID at the staff level. The Board of Supervisors and the General Manager is giving lip service to stewardship, but the staff steps in and it's the same old business as usual. Destroy the river, destroy the fishery. They think they can do whatever they can, but those times are changing because they're subject to public scrutiny. And we're gonna scrutinize because you can't destroy life. You can't destroy our natural heritage and our children's natural heritage and possible future survival in these times. But right now this river is giving me solace from these troubling times. So I'll take a deep breath and watch the river flow. Ni